Our IFM labs here at Burwood are part of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Electrical Material Science. The centre has a focus on new energy materials for devices such as batteries, thermocells and solar cells. In addition to that, we have work ongoing in the area of surface engineering of metals for control and corrosion and tribology applications. We have two laboratories here. One is based around characterisation of materials and the devices from those materials. The other is a synthesis lab for making new materials and also characterising those materials. So our device and characterisation laboratory has a lot of equipment um, that's been set up and devoted to our, um, support our energy storage and corrosion research. Uh, for our corrosion research, we have a range of electrochemical equipment and cells for studying um, and determining the corrosion rate of, uh, of a range of alloys uh, using uh, specific uh, coating and inhibitor techniques. Um, for our energy storage research, where we study a, a wide range of new materials for, for, for battery components, we have uh, a lot of specific equipment uh, devoted to, um, such as an argon glove box, where we can handle the materials and, and assemble the batteries under an inert atmosphere. Um, a lot of surface characterization equipment, such as an optical profilometer, a scanning electron microscope, um, and, and simple equipment that, and optical micro microscopes that are housed within our laboratory here to make it uh, simple and easy for us to, to conduct battery, battery studies. Uh, we also have multi channel battery cyclers and a multi channel sensor set which supports both the uh, corrosion and uh, battery research. So, I guess there's a whole range of other equipment. Um, and the way it's been set up and designed for, to support uh, a specific uh, work within corrosion and, and energy storage in this laboratory. Okay, so this is our synthetic chemistry lab where we make a, a range of different electromaterials. So for example, we make uh, liquid and solid electrolytes. Uh, we also make some corrosion inhibitors that links in with the, the corrosion work at IFM. Um, we also uh, make conducting polymers and, and study those. And in, so for example, the facilities here, we have slink lines to make uh, materials under nitrogen, helps protect them from water and, and from the atmosphere. And then other facilities here, we have, for example, DSC, the differential scanning calorimetry that allows us to look at the uh, phase behavior of the materials, for example, melting point and solid-solid phase transitions. Uh, we have some Carl Fisher, which allows us to look at the water content of our anic liquids, because that's very important in determining physical properties. Uh, we also have some conductivity equipment, so we have purpose-designed cells that allow us to measure the transport of our solid electrolytes, and then we have another setup that allows us to look at the conductivity of our liquid electrolytes. We do a number of different projects. Uh, my area is in the area of biolubrication. Uh, what we're doing is um, we're looking at making synthetic cartilage, these are materials that sort of protect themselves from wear and lubricate like natural cartilage tissues. Uh, we also study a protein in the joint called lubricin. Uh, we're finding that this protein has some interesting anti-adhesive properties that we're looking uh, to apply in the areas of, of microfluidics as well as uh, coatings for bionic implants uh, to control cell adhesion. In addition, we got uh, several pieces of equipment. Uh, the first is a contact angle instrument that allows us to measure the surface energies of, of various surfaces. Uh, we also have a laminar flow hood that allows us uh, to work in a clean environment, particle-free environment. And we also have a UV ozone cleaner. Uh, this is a way of cleaning organic contaminants off of surfaces. 